Oh, it's lovely to be beside the seaside. <laughs> what a fab day. We're here at Skegness and we took the train this morning from Boston. Just about a half an hour ride or something like that. And uh, we quickly walked through the town of Skegness, past all these ice cream, fish and chip shops. And, I quite uh, liked it. Yeah, it's like the it's real, good. most typical English, old fashioned English seaside town. Really tacky, but proud of its tackiness, if that makes any yeah, sense. So, so, Not maybe. pretending to be anything else and it's fun but not for us, so we walked through <laughs> <laughs> and along the beach. But just a few hundred yards out of the town, the, the beach is absolutely stunning, really gorgeous. And so we had a lovely swim, oh. we went out for a swim. No, it Dogs came lovely. out for a swim. <laughs> They've actually really enjoyed themselves. They've been manic for the last <laughs> God knows how many hours. They've really, really enjoyed themselves. So have we. We were going to walk <laughs> all the way to Gibraltar point, where there's yeah, a bit of a yeah. nature reserve, but it was a bit too hot and too far. So we had lunch and we're heading back now for refreshments. So yeah, come on, let's get you a kiss me quick hat. And a beer. And a stick of rock. <laughs> you going on the fun fair, Fran? No. <laughs> Come to Maud Foster Mill here in Boston and a fantastic experience. <laughs> We've both just climbed seven floors right to the top of the mill and back and it's not for the faint-hearted is it? <laughs> <laughs> the steps are really narrow and shallow but uh, yeah it's a lovely place built in 1819 and uh, they're still milling flour here. They did try to get the uh, sails going, but they're a bit sticky at the moment and the wind isn't strong enough, so it's being done electrically at the moment. But we've bought um, flour and oats that were milled on the stones, on the millstones here. Absolutely amazing, really interesting place, isn't it? It's beautiful, fantastic. In the, in, in the middle of a town, more or less, as well. 
So we're here in Boston, as I said, and we've been here now for four days, Fran, I think it is. So yeah. we're coming in today to have a walk around and uh, explore the town. So now we're off to St. Botolph's Church, or, called, or the Stump, as it's known locally. Yeah. So uh, come along with us. St. Botolph's is the largest parish church in England. The building began in 1309 and lasted 200 years and still retains many of its original carvings and brasses. It's a calendar church. There are 12 pillars holding up the roof, seven doors, 52 windows and 365 tower steps. The 270-foot tower was a beacon for sailors and could be seen from Norfolk. <laughs> Don't you normally stay here then? No, we've never been here before, oh, right. so uh, it's new, new for us, and it's a new one for somebody to be fishing next to our boat like this. <laughs> oh, well, there you go, I'll smile then. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fish under your boat at the moment. <laughs> Hopefully I'll catch one for you. Here we go, ready? Smile. Yes, take ten. <laughs> we join you today from our garden at the... Our, take no, eleven. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> We join you today from our little narrow boat garden at the front of the boat, surrounded by flowers and chilli peppers, and this fabulous view which we've had for the last five days. We're in Boston, and uh, that there is St Botolph's Church, or otherwise known locally as the Stump, because you can see it from miles around. And, um, and we've had a good five days here, haven't we? We yeah. didn't expect to be here so quickly, <laughs> but as we came from before Lincoln and through Lincoln, it was scorching up weather and we didn't want to moor in Lincoln where there are shops and restaurants and concrete and it was just going to be too hot. It was just heading for that heat wave, wasn't it? Yeah. And they were predicting 40 degrees heat and we really did not want to be in the middle of a town in 40 degrees heat. No. So we thought we'd go through the lock at Lincoln and moor up as soon as we can and we couldn't. <laughs> All the moorings were taken and it took us something like 18 19 miles before yeah. we could moor up and even then we couldn't moor up on a mooring spot they were all taken and we ended up on the lock landing for the night yeah eight o'clock at night we'd had enough and we just stopped and i think that's the first time we've ever stopped on a lock landing yeah, but we is. did go first thing the next morning there was nothing we could do was there no so uh, we thought sod it we're halfway so we might as well just get all the way into boston as soon as we can and then show you the journey back slowly and in fact it's worked out we didn't plan it as we said but it's worked out really well because this river is is not great for moorings they're few and far between and quite small often only enough for one or two boats and there's not very many water points but having come along the long straight stretches which some people find well they are boring aren't they it's yeah, you know yeah. it's the, the banks miles. are high you can't see above the banks but we've done all that long straight cruising now we've spotted where the best mooring spots are um, even one or two that are not official moorings that we've seen that you could probably pull into the bank if you wanted to so now we've got the interesting bit of going back and stopping as quickly as we can and investigating yeah. a little bit so I think yeah. we've done it right really and Hopefully. fab moorings here at the end at Lincoln we're on pontoons we've got water here it's gated moorings um, and it's lovely if a little noisy <laughs> Very noisy, especially at night when the local youth yeah. come out with their cans of beer and start swimming and, and jumping rods. in and fishing and, and <laughs> it, it can be very noisy. But we've enjoyed it. Boston is an interesting town. Yeah. It's got its issues. Um, I think it could do with a big injection of cash to clear the place up. It's quite messy. There's a lot of litter around. Some beautiful buildings though, not just uh, the stump here, but we went up a windmill, didn't we? Yep. And there's a few old sort of um, 
Tudor buildings dotted around. And the old market is still running. Yeah. I see, Boston was based on um, on a on imports and exports it's from a the big port. port town, yeah. There's there's no real industry here, um, and of course, once that died, I think the town has just sort of gradually got run down. Um, but yeah, it is still an interesting place to visit and to look around, isn't I think, it? I think the industry around here is farming, isn't it, and picking. So uh, and feathers, apparently. And feathers used feathers. to be a big feather <laughs> industry here, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we've done our five days here. Uh, we've done about two days more than we expected we would, didn't we? But we chose to go to the seaside yesterday, which yeah. was fun. So come along with us. We're going to head out this afternoon. We've got to fill the water tank up, do a bit of shopping. We've been inundated with spiders this year. I've never known a year like it for <laughs> spiders. Unbelievable. You open the curtains and they dangle down at you we, every we morning. We actually had to vacuum them up the other night and I don't like doing that but there were so many of them, cobwebs and spiders everywhere and they're up and down in the boat as you're sitting in the evening. As you're going to bed at night they're up and down on your head. <laughs> I've been collecting them and taking them off and putting them in the rushes over there but I'm sure they come heading back <laughs> following you in. Right. right that's us, that's where we are and what we've been doing yep. so uh, see you later. See you soon.